What's going on, everybody? My name is Josh Polcock, founder and CEO of Executive Stride, where we help coaches, consultants, marketing agency, and B2B entrepreneurs accelerate their stride in their business. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to automatically post content from your YouTube channel to your WordPress blog. Now, if you're uploading consistent videos on YouTube, you understand that it is important to distribute that content on other platforms. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about WordPress blogs, but the principle can be taken uh, and used on whether your website's hosted on Wix or Shopify, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm not going to dive into the exact technical way to set this up i'm going to be covering that only on wordpress but you can basically take the principles and apply them elsewhere as well all right now i did already make a video on how to distribute content from your wordpress blog to other platforms such as linkedin twitter instagram facebook etc so if you're interested in learning that what you could do after you set this up then i'll leave a link to that video down below but let's get right into how to set this whole thing up. I'm going to get straight to it so we don't waste any time. All right. So right here, you'll see my WordPress blog and you'll see that we have a bunch of content on the WordPress blog. And if you've uh, been a subscriber to this YouTube channel for a while now, you'll recognize a lot of these thumbnails and videos because it is the exact YouTube videos that we've been uploading. All right. So. I'll show you how I do this. So if I go to my WordPress dashboard, you'll see that we are using a plugin called FeedZ. All right. So if I go to FeedZ, I can go to import posts. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using um, my YouTube channels RSS feed. Now you could do this with any RSS feed. So you could use this with other people's blogs, RSS feed, if you're some sort of blog that is, uh, you know, distributing other people's content, but you could use this with really any social media's RSS feed, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, but specifically we're going to be using this for YouTube because we upload a lot of YouTube videos and that's what most people would want to use it for. All right. So, I set it up so all you would do is create a new import but I already have this import so I'll show you how I set it up and you can replicate this on your import so it's gonna go edit import you can just add the name Josh Pocock YouTube then you're gonna want to add your RSS feed so for YouTube the RSS feed looks like this youtube.com forward slash feeds forward slash uh, forward slash videos dot XML and then uh, question mark channel underscore ID equals and then you're going to want to paste your channel ID you can get that from going to your YouTube channel and it's going to be the the uh, the characters that are after you know forward slash YouTube etc that's your channel ID so that is the RSS feed so if I go to this link right here with a new tab this is what it looks like it's just a bunch of uh, content from my YouTube channel and it's in XML format. All right, so that is what we are adding to Feedsly. All right, you could potentially add multiple feeds if you wanna do that. We're just do using the YouTube video feed for this example, all right? Uh, you can change things like categories if you want, set all that up. Maybe it's useful if you're organizing multiple feeds. You can do things like filtering keywords, excluding keywords, filter by time range. I didn't do any of that because we really just want it to catch all of the YouTube videos. Um, and then you want to map content. So, you know, there's advanced options and general options. I don't do too much in the advanced options. Um, all I really do is... For post title, I want to make sure it's the item title, which will give us the same name as our YouTube video's name. So if it's not already showing, you can click insert tag and add that. Then post date, I mean, you could change it to item post date, the items date, if you'd like. Um, it's up to you. That That's neither here nor there. It's, it's personal preference. And then content, the content that we're using is I inserted a tag of item content and item description. So that will give me the item content, which will be the video and the item description will be the description. 
Now for featured image, it's important to show that you want to use the item image, which will import automatically the thumbnail. If you don't do this, you won't have a thumbnail for your blog and you'll, you don't want to, you know, you need to have that, of course. So general feed, you can import, uh, you can type in how many uh, feed items to import from this source. So I just put 75. We have over 100 videos, but um you know now sometimes you may run into issues where it won't import the whole thing or stuff like that you can kind of just troubleshoot but generally speaking you know you can input the amount here and it will do its job and it, and the cool thing is any new new youtube video that you're posting it will automatically post it to your blog you won't have to do anything okay so you could do auto delete we don't use that and then all you would do is click save you could also preview the import but once you click save you're pretty much done. Um, you could mess around with settings over here too. I didn't do anything with settings. It's not very necessary. The one thing you could do is you could select a default RSS feed image, featured image, if it doesn't have one. But obviously, you should have a thumbnail. You will have a thumbnail. Um, now, let's go to our feeds. And I'm going to show you what to do next. You could also add proxies, which could be useful depending on how scaling, how uh, if you're looking for a scalable system and depending on what sort of business you're doing. But if you're just using it for this purpose, you won't need to worry about proxies or anything like that. Now, all you would do is click run now and it's going to start importing. Now, I've already I'm already up to date. I have it so it won't import duplicates um, and it should have that automatically. So it's going to run. You can refresh it and check but mine won't be importing anything because I've already um, imported everything, all right? So if I click on a video and example, for example, I'm clicking on this one, you will see that this is all done automatically. I didn't have to create this blog post or anything like that. We have a YouTube video right here. This is one of the YouTube videos. And then we have the exact YouTube video description. All right. Now, when you just use the exact system that I just showed you without doing anything else, the one issue that we ran into is that it doesn't automatically hyperlink these links. So what I'm going to do is show you a workaround that's very simple. All right. All you have to do is use a simple plugin called, where is it? It is called... Let me just check. Give me two seconds. Auto hyperlink URLs. All right. So if I visit the plugin site, that's not it. But it's auto hyperlink URLs. Um, okay. So you just go add new. I believe you can just search for it. Um. Okay, well, I'm not going to wait for it to load, but you can find that plugin auto hyperlink URLs and feeds and feedsy. Those are the only two plugins we use to basically set up a system where we can automatically post. Once we post the content to YouTube, it automatically gets posted on our WordPress blog. Then from WordPress blog, if you've watched my video on using FS poster, you can see that it's a good central hub to have the YouTube video, to have the blog so that it can be distributed to other platforms such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, um, etc. So then you could just go over to uh, FS Poster right here and you could set it up to post or you could basically, I'll show you, you can go to posts and all you would have to do is click this button for FS Poster click share and I could decide which accounts so I could share it to uh, medium my blogger my discord my google my business plurk um, 
Tumblr, Reddit, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So Reddit, all these, all these great things, Telegram. So if you want to know how to do that next step of the process using the WordPress site, distribute into other content, I'll leave a link to that video as well below. That's my video on the FS poster overview, which is another plugin for WordPress. All right. So that is pretty much it on how to set up the system. Content is super important in building your credibility, adding value, building free value, building a community of like-minded individuals. And that is exactly what we do for our company and teach our clients how to do. We teach our clients as well how to set up automated lead generation machines on LinkedIn, email, Facebook, all these different things so they can remove themselves from the business and stop doing all these technical uh, you know, things in the business and having to worry about this and working so hard just to make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 K per month, whatever the case may be, maybe even less, uh, and at being able to step away from the business, hire a team in the Philippines and have remote workers and have a growth team of sales reps and, uh, SDRs that are able to really just do a lot of the workload for them and scale to hundred K plus per month for their coaching, consulting, or marketing business. So if that is you, if you're looking to scale, if you're looking to shortcut the process and get expert advice, expert coaching, and an expert process that is a turnkey solution, we've mapped out the whole thing. If you wanna see our one, zero to $1 million uh, within 12 months or less roadmap, our six step stride system, you can check that out on the YouTube page. I'll leave a link to that as well, but everything is mapped out, everything is detailed. We have everything that's plug and play for your specific business. We'll personalize it to you and show you the whole thing and how to set it up and how, make sure it's working. Uh, if you're interested in any of that, uh, click the link below executivestride.com forward slash quiz. And if you're not ready for, you know, to work with us, whatever the case may be, that's hundred percent fine. We only work with select people where it's a perfect fit. Anyways, then you can join our stride community. It's a free group. Um, it's a free group with free value. It's nothing to sell there. It's, it's hundred percent free and you can join that group. And then when maybe you're at the stage in your business where it's better to work with us or you want to work with us, or maybe you don't regardless and you just want the free value. That's hundred percent cool, but join our stridecommunity.com. I'll leave a link to that as well. And other than that, guys, we upload videos every single day on this YouTube channel. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you want videos like this every single day. And if you have any suggestions on videos you want me to make, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I appreciate the feedback and support, guys. Once again, my name is Josh Pocock, founder of Executive Stride. And as always, guys, make sure to keep hustling, keep striving and accelerate your stride. Take care.